Welcome back to Over the Top Rope with Scotty and Sammy. Here we're doing a WrestleMania 31 review. And uh, after doing the pre-show, we're now actually on to the real show. Put away Clash of Clans. Sorry. God damn it, Sam. So, uh, first match of the night during the actual show. Um, we get the six-man, sorry, seven-man ladder match. Yeah, there's seven. Daniel Bryan, Wade Barrett, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust. Oh, I remember what that shorthand's for. Luke Harper, R-Truth, and Dean Ambrose. What's what? I remember, I remember what the shorthand was for. So we're going to get to that? Yeah. Okay, we'll get to that yeah. eventually. Yeah. Um, it was an interesting match. Uh -huh. I, You know what? Completely honest, I was expecting Sheamus to run out and be the eighth person in it. Because very rarely do they do a seven-man match or a, a uneven number match. Yeah. You know? But it was it was a it was a fairly decent match. Had some very interesting spots, but um, I, I I felt like there was one or two many people or one or two people that shouldn't have been in the match. You know? um, Luke Harper, our truth, our truth I can deal with because he was stealing the belt the whole time. <laughs> Stardust, yeah. I hate to say it, he kind of felt like he shouldn't have been in there. Yeah. Um, Stardust, I, I still adamantly believe, should have got his WrestleMania match with Goldust. Title versus, or, mat, or gimmick versus career. Yeah. You know? Could have had it go completely different, but it was still interesting. Yeah. yeah. My, my big concern is I hope uh, Dean Ambrose is okay. He's okay. He appeared on Raw afterwards. Know, he, he fought Cena. That was, that was probably the scariest spot of the night, though. Yeah. Powerbomb off the ladder to outside the ring where a ladder is set up between the ring and the outside, the the barrier, yeah. and he goes through it. And, yeah, and there's well, blood. You can see ladder, blood outside. The ladder outside. goes yeah. down, and the EMTs are out there. Yeah, and... wondering, holy fuck, is he okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could, like I said, you could see it. There was blood. Yeah, but yeah, not not a whole lot of blood, but still blood. Yeah. Um, I was a little uh, weirded out. Our truth's fear of heights didn't come into yes, this at all. Even that's though they exactly talked about no scared it. <clears throat> Means. Yeah, like what yeah. happened with They're that? They're like, he's not even they gonna built, be able to get it. They you built know? that up for weeks, and then they talk about it during the actual match. And does it, anything come of it? No. No. There should have been at least one point of him up there shaking in his boots. Yeah, or just unable to reach up, or like you know, just do do the whole thing where he's like on the top and like, oh god, no, oh god, no, yeah. like you do that, you know, that would be fine. And then have and then have like you know, Barrett come in and just like shake the ladder to scare the fuck out of him, oh, then god. drop it on it, drop oh, it on side or something. That would have been funny. Yeah. You know, that would have been a good spot, but they they didn't do any of that. Um, Stardust coming out in his regalia. Um, I don't know what this new look of his is. He reminds us of what, Mr. Sinister? <laughs> he, he looks like Mr. Sinister from fucking X Men. Can we get a picture of Mr. Sinister next to Stardust, please? Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I know it's. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um,. I don't know. I, I, I think I was expecting more from this match. Uh, but it was interesting that it came down to Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan. You know? Yeah. I, I think I think we knew going into this that Daniel was going to win. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was my guess. That was your guess. Well, they can't, they can't give him the U.S. title. They can't give him the heavyweight title. So they might as well give him something. And then the crowd goes crazy. Have a consolation. I, I think in this sense, also at the same time, they're trying to make... Um, the Intercontinental title look a little more relevant. Yeah, no, I mean... Which makes sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it, see, because it's like... Considering the world title's been, you know, missing for the past few months. Like, the way... The way... Taking Hoskins, I sort of saw it. You know, the belts were on par with each other. It was always the world heavyweight. Yep. Okay, and then if you can't get that, you get the U.S. title. Or the IC title. Really. No, no. The way the way they treat the IC title, my brain went the US title was higher than that. Okay, that's and then, good. Yes. Okay. Scott, Scott. That's right. Rusev has made the US title look good, actually. I'm yes, yes, he has. Not lie. Um, and and they don't steal other titles and have other people hide them in burlap sacks and make it a giant joke. That's true. That's that's that, true. yeah that's actually true, yeah. you know what WW that wasn't a very smart way to make that title look better yeah I, I really don't get with this whole Benny Hill style thing it was about. funny it was funny but it did not make the title look serious no either. it's like you can't take it serious yeah. when you're doing shit like that man yeah. that doesn't work like that that doesn't work yeah yeah but uh, it, it it was a fairly decent match and it was cool to see Daniel Bryan win it which um, makes him a triple crown winner now yeah 
He has been a world heavyweight champion, he has been a tag champion, and he's been an intercontinental champion, which, that's an accomplishment. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. You know? Very few people have achieved that. Um, oh, yeah, he was a tag champion with what, Kane? With Kane. Yeah, and I remember that. <laughs> Team Hell No. Because of their anger management. <laughs> they had some of the best sketches. God, I missed that. That was back when... Kane know, was Kane, and yeah. not Kane was corporate. Yeah, Kane was Slack's. Kane and Slacks. Wear Slacks, promote Taco Tuesday. That's the new corporate adage for Kane. <laughs> so yeah, um, you got anything else you want to add to this? Not really. Yeah? Okay, so we're just going to roll right along and move to the next match, I guess. Right, I, mean, I was tired by this point. Yeah. Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton. This was a good match. This was quite good, actually, yeah. Despite the fact that I didn't, you know, pay attention to it. Yeah. I, I said it um, while the match was going on. I think what the big thing about Seth Rollins is, and the big thing I like about him is, that he comes out... Okay, everyone everyone has this thing where they make fun of, like, you know, Cena, Orton, Big Show, Kane, all these guys that have, you know, essentially the five moves kind of thing. Um, Big Show has five moves? Big Show has four other moves? Yeah, I know. What? Big boot, sidewalk slam, jump from the top rope. Uh, he can get slam. up to a top rope? He's done it a few times. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you've ever seen that, though. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, that was one of his original standbys. It was really cool. Wow. They call, I think they called it the bat out of hell for a while. That would have really cool. been legitimately terrifying to see. It, it, it is terrifying to watch him like you know, jump off. The, I'll show you the footage later. Please do. Okay. Can we get a picture? Okay. Whatever. Maybe. Um, anyway. You're um, Where were we here? Right, Seth. <laughs> the thing with Seth Rollins is, I think everyone, I think everyone has this set. But with Seth Rollins, when he comes out to the ring, every night he seems to think, "What is one thing that I can do that would make this complete? That, that's that I've never done before that I can do tonight, or that I can add to my arsenal." You know, yeah. he did it with uh, the Phoenix Splash. Mm-hmm. He did it with uh, the curb stomp for the first time. He did it with. Um, he, he, he he tends to innovate. He did a fucking jump. To fucking outside the ring, Brock Le- the triple threat with Brock Lesnar and oh, Cena. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Fuck, man. Shawn Michaels would be would be standing there giving a thumbs up. I may not like Seth Rollins, but I'm never disappointed in any match he's in. Yep. Him and Randy had a great match. Yeah, there's t- it's, yeah. they're two guys that bring 110% into the ring. And you could tell Randy was actually really, really enjoying this one. And the audience was really, really enjoying this one. You know what? This here could turn into the new Randy Orton, John Cena have 300 matches back and forth, I'd be okay with that. You know why? Because Seth Rollins and Randy Orton look like they actually have better chemistry than John. Yeah. I hate to say it. John, you're good. John but, has the chemistry of a wet towel. Well, no, it's it's not that. It's that John is protected. Yeah. So everything he does has to be so safe yeah. that it gets boring. Yeah. I'm not saying that he's a boring person. Because he's got the kiddos. Yeah. You know, he's, he's got so... Well, it's, he's got so much riding on him. You know, the whole... Uh, you know, and you, you can't... You can't ignore that kind of thing. You know, so just time went away for a second there. But yeah, it, it was a great match. Um, highlight of the match was the ending. God. That that curb stomp up into an RKO. That was fucking wild. That was fucking uh, they got wild. Air. <laughs> Seth got at least. Holy Seth shit. Seth got at least. How do we. Okay, let's. Uh, how tall is, is Randy? Randy's about six foot, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, Seth's over the, so Seth, six foot. So Seth as well. got at least. Adding his height to that, Seth got at least 15 feet of air, head to, head to toe, we're talking. 12 and 12. 12 and 12? Or, um, 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 6 and 6 is 12, not 15. Well, he went he, twelve feet. Twelve. He still he, he went up, and it looked, it was amazing. You know, just just to consider, um, not only how much air that he got, but how much force, uh, Randy must have put out on his neck to throttle him into the air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was fucking wild looking. Yeah. Oh, I'm spitting all over the place. You are. Hmm. You're, you're, I got excited for this yes, one. I'm sorry. I know you did. But it was awesome. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. And it was a that was a hell of an ending, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's a WrestleMania moment right there. Yeah. You know, that's that's when you could stick in a scrapbook. <laughs> even with even with Seth Rollins losing, you know, it was yeah. it was great. Yeah. yeah. Um. That was yeah. I think that was about all we got for that one. Yeah. 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 So that was that was interesting. So then we got what well, we got next <laughs> then. 
Triple H versus Sting. I have to say something. Go for it. I, like, this whole Triple H Sting thing, I don't understand. I mean, you've told, you've told me this a hundred times and why it is. There's so much history here that I don't get. Mm-hmm. So to me, it just looks like senior hour on WWE. <laughs> And maybe a little bit it is. Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, they, they... I said it then, I'll say it again. For a match between two guys who are as old as they are... So Tripp's not that old. No, he's... Well, compared to a lot... Okay, compared to the roster and yeah. compared to the other people out there... Yes, he is. Yeah. Compared he's, to all that, though... He's they, daddy WWE. Yes. He, they, they, the pair of them put on... The best match that I probably could have expected for those two. Yeah. Um, totally honest, I did not expect <laughs> um, DX and NWO to come out. Mm. You know. Okay. Granted, it wasn't the full teams and everything, but it was still really impressive to see. You know. I will reiterate, seniors hour on WWE. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It, I didn't know. I know you, any of. Yeah. Well, no, I knew one of them, but I couldn't put his. I couldn't put, pick which one he was. Shawn Michaels. No. No. Um, the guy with the slick back hair. Slick back hair. Oh, um, uh, uh, Kevin Nash. Yeah, I keep wanting to call him Stephen Nash. Because mm-hmm. I think that's, that's, that's basketball. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, him. <laughs> couldn't figure out which one he was because you know he doesn't have black hair anymore. But yeah, it was it was cool to see him and, and Scott Hall and Hogan come out, you know. Wait, oh, Hogan. Hogan, of all people, to be coming out for the end of... I think it's really, I thought that really was funny to me. I thought that was hilarious. It's it's really, <laughs> really funny to me. If you look at a picture of Hogan now, and a picture of Hogan back when he was, you know, big, he doesn't age. He's just, he's, he's weathered beyond all belief in both type, or both... Points yeah. and he just he looks exactly the same. I'm I, I'm like ninety percent certain that all that time tanning has just has, preserved, has him? preserved him. Yes, he's <laughs> he, he, he 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 is now wearing essentially a leather exoskeleton. <laughs> and then he bleaches all his hair, so you can't tell. You can't tell. He's always had the he's always had the curtain going on, uh, sort of thing. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you, know? He, you know, for 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 a guy who looks like that, I gotta say that for all all time, he's he's owned it. He's made it his look. Yeah, yeah. And it's fine. You know, yeah. there, there's nothing to be ashamed about with it. You yeah. Know? It looks good on you, Hogan. Yeah. Deal with okay, it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but no, um, I had a couple of interesting spots in the match. You weren't paying attention. Um, I thought the I was still too <clears throat> like caught off guard by trips and trips. <laughs> the t- <laughs> I, oh thought no. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious. No. Sting comes out and he gets like a Tyco drummers. Tyco drummers. That style. was kind of cool. I, I don't, except I, I was, it was confused. It, was, it wasn't Tyco drummers. I think it was. No, it was Tyco. Was it? Uh, was, it was. It was a variety of Tyco. Okay, part of, part of me wants to 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 attribute it to something else, but I guess I guess not. But yeah, he comes. Tyco's he, not always just that big drum. I know, I know. But no, he he comes out and it's. His basic, a real, real. Well, I wouldn't say basic entrance, but it was a good entrance. You know, it was it was Sting's entrance. And then Triple H gets the Terminator I entrance. Out, Scott, what? I know why Undertaker didn't get his entrance because they blew the budget on Trip. <laughs> but they did it last year with him as well. They do it every year with Triple H. He always gets a big entrance. Yeah, it wasn't last year him just as a king with his crown on a throne being led out by people, being carried out by people. Yes, no, this they had to pay for Arnie. <sighs> That's true. <laughs> but no, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger gives him the thumbs up Judgment Day style quotes and all that and everything. They do this massive computer scanning, you know, thing over the that arena. Was so dumb. He comes out and there's like six Terminators on the fucking He's wearing stage. this big armor and he looks awful. <laughs> and then the weird thing happens with it all. Okay, so about three stagehands run out and they give him like a, a, a bunch of Terminator heads on chains. And he stands there, he poses for a brief moment, and then he just, like, throws everything away. It's like, what was even the point of the, the heads I on want. the chains? If you're going to chuck them in 12 seconds, like, come on. You know? So dumb. It was, but it was... I was, just it was like, I was goggled by that. It, it, was, it, was a, it was a good entrance. It was, you know, it, made, it was decent. It was good. Uh, the match itself, like I said, good as it could be for two guys of their age. Oh, yeah. Um... 
uh, what was there was one other thing to it. Right, um, big spot for me. Mm-hmm. Um, Sting breaking the sledgehammer with the bat. Mm-hmm. That looked really cool. I liked that. Um, the <laughs> when you look at the sledgehammer, though, it's like it's like in two clean pieces. Yeah. So I'm looking at that afterwards, like. Yeah, I, I know it's all staged and everything, but that just looks fucking hilarious. It's like they, 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 they it's like someone sawed it apart, and then they, they stuck it back together. And they like, I don't know, they put like really, they used like cheap tape, and they're like hit here, or they a little, put a little mark on it or something. <laughs> but he's holding up in the corner, and then Sting just kind of snaps it in half with the bat. It was, it was cool looking. It was great, you know. It was cool to see both sides come out and yeah. um, contribute to their teams, and also it was great to see. Uh, well, I, I, I expected the ending to be Triple H would win. Yeah. Simply because this is kind of supposed to be, I guess, uh, I don't want to say an allegory. It's symbolic of what happened years ago kind of thing. Mm. So, as, as as a person who's watched for years and years and years, it was it was a good ending. It was a yeah. good match. Yeah. I, I was dreading this match coming into it, but I left much more impressed. It's, it's nice to see the WWE giving, you know, their old star the chance to come back out of retirement very briefly. I, th- I think it was simply... Shadow does not approve. I think it was just um, they Catch wanted to give Sting his one match, Come which was okay. So yeah, that's um. I think that's a good place to stop for now. And we'll yeah. continue in a moment. Yeah. We're gonna stop. We're gonna come back with another part. I guess it'll be part three of Divas. Oh, that's not as part three of WrestleMania 31. Uh, we'll be back in just a few moments. Thank you.